Being a chief digital officer when I started was being a freak. Quite quickly though, you stopped being a freak and you became an evangelist. Then the longest period of my life as a chief digital officer was about building teams and coaching teams to think about the world in a new way. Today, the role of the chief digital officer has changed. You're core to the business because the whole business has to be digital when the whole world is digital. And our job is to create, make, moderate and develop the market and we'll carry on doing that. Connecting with hypersocial consumers is a highly complex affair. But it's maybe not quite as complex as people think. Because people still pay attention to the content they love, the media they love, and the things they love. And it's important for advertisers to make sure that they don't over-fragment their messaging and lose the essential resonance of brands. If people want to connect with consumers and have a relationship with them, they need to have more than just products to do that. It's services, it's things that matter to people's lives, things that they care about, whether it's themselves, their families, their dogs, or their cars. And we believe strongly that wrapping service offers around a brand is a way to create long-term attachment. It's also a way to create real and deep knowledge and a way to get people to share what they think and know about a brand. Talent is one of the biggest challenges in any business, not just ours. We have to bring people into our business that are curious. We have to bring people into our business who know things that we don't. Above all, what we have to do is get people to bring their real lives and how they interact with the world using digital tools and technology and teach us and our clients about what that means for the work that brands and we Group M as an agency have to do. It means being inclusive, it means being diverse, it means bringing people in who just have a different view of the world and a different view of work than we do. It's too easy to say that we need math men, not advertising men now. What we need is real humans who believe in the power of connection and very often the power of technology to augment that connection between brands and consumers. If we can do that and give them the welcome they deserve and the encouragement they need and the framework of skills that make that work relevant to the things that we get paid for, we'll attract the right talent and we'll keep it.